Hello, this is Andrew. Ubiquity just released a firmware update for the U UDM Pro. It's not for the UDM, so sorry, you have to wait longer if you have a UDM. Uh, it is 1.6.5, which is 0.1 newer than the 1.6.4, which is the current stable release. Um, there are quite a few improvements and bug fixes. Um, there's also quite a long list of known issues. And oddly enough, the known issues doesn't include the issue which keeps me from using the UDM Pro in a more production-ish kind of environment, which is that you can't currently restore the non-default site to the thing. Um, and when I say non-default, it's not entirely clear what that means, because it is possible to flip the default site in the common usage of the term default uh, using some SQL or not SQL but database commands because uh, I think that they use MonoDB or something like that uh, but even that does not work or at least that's what the forums say because I, I haven't actually tried it because I don't really want to mess with, with my um, configuration at this time I'm gonna wait for them to fix it properly um, but let's go. Let's walk through the uh, installation process, and or sorry, upgrade process for the UDM Pro. So you will need to go to your UDM Pro. I'm assuming you know how to do that. Um, if you don't, then watch some of the other, the other videos that uh, we've done with the channel around um, the initial setup and configuration of the device. Um, I am using Protect on here. We did a video around that recently. Um, while the UDM controller and networking stuff still has some issues uh, as we can see from the known issues. Uh, the Protect has been working pretty much okay uh, and Protect is much nicer than Un Unify Video um, like the alerts actually work in a timely way and the time lapse or viewing works a lot better than uh, it does on, on video so I thought that was worth moving over so at least you know I can feel a little bit better about having bought the thing. To upgrade the base firmware, go to settings and check for update. There's an update available, so I'm going to click on that and then confirm. And nothing happens. So updates, oh, there we go. <laughs> just had to wait a little while. Uh, status would have been nice. So I guess just let it spin here for a while. I'm assuming that when it goes down, I will lose internet connection and I'll know that somehow. Okay, so that didn't take very long. Just a couple of minutes and we're back. Looks like the layout has changed a little bit. Um, instead of just having the amount of space how big the hard drive is. I actually have some storage and capacity metrics here. I've used looks like 6.2 gigabytes of video recording and then I have quite a lot of internal storage left as well for various things. Um, let's see memory looks good, temperature looks good, CPU load looks good, applications nothing's changed there and advanced. Don't allow. I don't expect that there were any real changes. Oh, that's interesting. So let's just have a quick check to make sure Protect is still working and we're lo looks fine. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, I will be continuing to use the device and updating to the status and I'm still waiting to uh, actually restore my backup to it. Hopefully they'll get to that in the next firmware release. Cheers.